All right, welcome to the brand new section. In this session, we're going to talk about Azure Management Group as a part of Azure Governance. Now, when you have a organization and has got many subscription per organization, there has to be an efficient way to manage accesses policy for all of these subscription. Now we saw how you could have multiple resources under each resource group. All right, so hierarchy is the top level is subscription underneath subscription, you would have multiple resource groups. So if you go to this uh, subscription, you would have multiple resource group, right? So subscription, then resource, a group and underneath each resource group, you would have different resources like virtual machine, a Kubernetes cluster, storage account and whatnot. How about if you have multiple subscription, who manages the subscription? There's something called as management group. Now, if your organization has multiple subscription, many subscription, uh, for policy compliance, you got to have some sort of management and management group lets you conglomerate or combine all of these subscription into a container called manage groups and apply your governance condition to the management group. Um, all subscription within a management group automatically inherit the condition applied to the group. What does that mean? The first management group is the, what you see is tenant resource group. Underneath tenant resource group, you would have all the subscription. And from here, you could create multiple management groups to keep your subscription underneath it. Why do you do that, first of all? Likewise, what I've done is I've created a management group and underneath it, I have created child groups, app one and app two, and underneath each child group, I have created a subscription. What is the use of this? Now, let's suppose if I have to, for app one, what I want is all the resources should be deployed in West Europe, and for app two, all the resources should be deployed in North Europe. How do you apply such features? Instead of individually allotting or assigning these policies, you could assign it to the management group itself. And those rules or policy would be cascaded to all the child's groups or all the subscription underneath it. How do you create multiple management group? If you click on create, you can start creating the management group over here. So, I would name it as a demo management group. All right, click on submit and that's gonna create a management group. And underneath it, you could have multiple management group. While this is getting created, uh, let me show you how the structure is gonna look like. First, if you are a part of any management group or if you're part of any subscription, you should be able to see at least one management group. If you're not able to see other, which means you don't have access to, admin should have all the privilege. Uh, you should be able to see all the subscription. Now, if you click on any of the management group, um, what I have is now the management group is created. So if you have these management group, what you could do is you could go to the management group and start creating child uh, management group. All right. So this could be production app, right? And then the second one could be dev app. And what you, what's happening over here is once the management group is added, you can start moving or managing your subscription underneath these uh, management group, child management group. How do you do that? So if you click on add subscription, I'll just wait for it to create the management group. While this is being done, what you could also do is, all right, the management group is created. If you just expand it, uh, if you go to the production app, you would see that it is empty at the moment. You can start adding subscription. So if you click on add subscription, you would see that you've got only one subscription. You can start moving this subscription from a different management group to this one because this particular management group is for only production subscription because you wanna apply some stringent rule onto this particular management group. And you can start assigning the access control. You can start giving the security policies or attached security policies also with this particular uh, management group and start seeing the cost analysis also. So rather than going to the cost analysis for individual resources, you can start seeing the resources uh, which are incurring cost based on a management group. As you can see, my management uh, 
my my group is now this particular group is now has uh, actual cost is this forecaster is this and then you can start uh, visualizing basis on a more granular level as well so yeah uh, if you want to apply policies to a management group that limits the region available for virtual machine creation uh, this could be applied right at the top management group and whatever subscription are added to those group uh, going to be cascaded to them without any manual configuration so go ahead and start at least looking at how the manage gr management group looks for your azure subscription i hope this was informative thank you